The modern world truly is an amazing place, wouldn't you agree? From amazing smart devices that give us access to the internet with just a few taps to Hollywood quality cameras right in our pockets, the world of technology has really come a long way. Imagine asking a human that lived in the medieval ages whether he believed you'd be able to freeze a moment in time by way of a camera from a device in your pocket. They might throw you in jail for spreading witchcraft. We all know in the end that much of witchcraft was just misunderstood science. From giant fish making themselves known to the miraculous births of rare animals, here are 15 times the video camera was at hand at the right moment. Arapaima The arapaima is a crazy looking fish that can grow to massive sizes. It's an enormous yet sleek freshwater fish native to the streams of the Amazon River. This fish is unique in many ways. But perhaps the most famous attribute is that it can breathe air. This allows it to survive in pools with low water levels of decaying vegetation. In other words, these babies know how to survive when things get rough. While the fish are fascinating, they're on a long list of Florida's troubles of invasive species. Since they can't survive in cold water, they move to wherever temperature suits them. And modern day Florida suits them just fine. The predatory fish isn't a picky eater and it primarily feasts on other smaller fish. But it has also been seen eating fruit, insects, birds, and even small mammals. Thanks to its insane ability to lay thousands of eggs per year, it didn't take long for it to become a major invasive species, among other things. The Florida fish and wildlife have said they are found no evidence of reproduction just yet, but it is of the utmost importance it never gets there. Hey, hey, did you know that if you smash the like button, subscribe, and click the notification bell, you're more likely to win the lottery? So what are you waiting for? Shedding antlers. What do you see first when you spot a male adult deer? Most people would say it's the set of antlers on its head, but it's a subjective question of course. These bony growths are easily the most distinguishable characteristics of these incredible mammals. But did you know they actually shed them on an annual cycle? It's true, mammals with horns like goats and sheep grow a bony core with a layer of blood vessels and a sheath-like layer of keratin over the whole package. Horns grow continuously through the animal's life. Conversely, antlers of the deer consist wholly of bone and it sheds and regrows them. Nearly all 47 species in that family of deer grow antlers. One exception is the Chinese water deer, which grows elongated canine teeth instead of any horns at all. They shed because they outgrow their horns and require room to grow new, larger ones. That's why you can always tell an elder deer by the size of an enormous set of antlers. <laughs> gas station foam party. This wacky footage shows white foam spraying down from the gas station canopy, where some customers were filling up and surprised by the encounter. Authorities were called after three people reported having trouble breathing. They were evaluated by paramedics, but didn't find any serious injuries had occurred. What the heck was the white foam, and where did it come from? Turns out the fire suppression system malfunctioned and started spraying fire suppressing foam all over the place. The foam is meant to smother liquids like gasoline or oil so that the fire can't breathe. It looks like soap bubbles, but it's referred to as a triple F, or firefighting foam. It doesn't happen slowly either. The poor people caught in that cloud are drenched in a matter of seconds, sending fear and panic throughout the crowd. Now you know what those nozzles are whenever you are sitting under the gas station canopy. <laughs> Baby rays. Adorable eagle rays are a type of cartilaginous marine fish. The group contains about 12 species, all of them flat, disc-like fish with wing-like pectoral fins and that iconic smile that people love and adore. These species have a global distribution and mostly inhabit the warm tropical and temperate waters of the ocean and sea. Even more adorable are the eagle ray pups, for which the aquarium Discovery Cove was lucky enough to recently birth. You thought they were cute when they were adults, take a look at them when they're pups. Talk about cuteness overload, immediately after the pup's birth, Discovery Cove vets and zoological teams performed a successful neonatal wellness exam, all part of the general health care animals need to receive, in keeping with the company's regulations. The Eagle Ray Barb is a venomous stinger, a series of which are present on the base of its whip-like tail. All Eagle Rays communicate via superpower-like electrosensory organs. These organs heighten the ray's sensitivity to the presence of prey. Even if they didn't have these incredible sensing organs, they already have remarkable senses of sight and smell that help them to detect detect and dodge predators, as well as finding prey when they get that urge to hunt. You know, to go against that whole cute aesthetic they have and turn on full predator mode. <laughs> Geese on the run 
The hilarious scene can be interpreted in many different ways. Is that goose leading the pack or being chased by a pack of angry other smaller geese? It's hard to tell, but you can't help and laugh at the whole scenario. This flock in particular is that of the Canadian goose. Though that exact number of the birds are unknown, they're a healthy population. They can be notoriously aggressive, especially around their territory or smaller chicks. So watch yourself around them. The person who filmed this is brave for getting even that close to that many. If they would have turned toward him, they would have had quite a fight on their hands. They typically enjoy grassy open areas, so to see them cruising down the street is a real threat. Obstacles like tall grass and shrubs are typically avoided because they often conceal predators. Ponds, marshes, rivers, and coastlines are the perfect habitat for this species for the wide open views. They thrive in almost all habitats, from the ocean to the mountains, even farmlands. If you have lots of farms in your area, you'll likely find them scavenging the recently harvested fields and forests. Them and the deer often content with one another during this time of year. <laughs> Bubble rings this crazy natural phenomena is called a bubble ring, and for obvious reasons. A bubble ring, scientifically known as a toroidal bubble, is an underwater vortex ring where an air bubble occupies the core of the vortex, forming the iconic ring shape from which its name derived. The ring of air spins as it travels through the water, much like a bracelet might spin when rolled on someone's wrist. The faster it spins, the more stable it becomes, believe it or not. Bubble rings and smoke rings are both examples of vortex rings, for which the physics of which is still under study and requires better explanation. Devices have been invented which generate bubble vortex rings, though the physics for which they tamper remains a bit of a mystery. Weren't we supposed to not tamper with physics not understood yet? All those science lessons in high school have gone out the window. Some sea creatures have long been known to create the vortex rings on command, much like a smoke ring with animals on land. Sea animals, however, use their rings as means to hunt and capture their prey. <coughs> Cat ignores laser. Some cats could care less that you want to play with that laser. This is their world, and we're all just living in it. While it's widely known that cats and other animals like chasing laser pointers, do you know why? It's the same reason your cat likes hunting and pouncing on birds. It's also the reason your outdoor cat may occasionally bring you occasional presents if you have an outdoor cat or let yours out at any point. They're natural hunters and hunting and punching is in their blood. Some have claimed that laser pointers are bad for cats, but it all depends on the manner and how you use it. Of course, you don't want to point the laser at the animal, especially in their eyes, and where you direct the pointer should be with some caution. If these aspects of playing with a cat aren't apparent, perhaps check your cat safety tips out first. On the other hand, laser pointers can be a great exercise tool for cats, especially for humans who have a busy schedule or other excuse. Who doesn't love kicking back in their recliner and watching their cat go nuts trying to get the little red dot scurrying across the floor. <laughs> Sloth on the power line. Sloths are just trying to get by in certain parts of the world, and so are humans. Unfortunately for both species, that often coincides with disastrous results. Sloths are just trying to hang out, quite literally, but often don't know the danger for which they're hanging. Power lines are an extreme danger to the creatures and take an astounding amount of sloth lives each year. People need power too, and you can't contain the wild in certain parts of the world. The only long-term solution to prevent future electrocutions is to bury the power lines underground. But the process process is extraordinarily costly, lengthy, and requires the agreement of the Costa Rican Electricity Institute. Because of all those hurdles, it remains an ongoing fight across the island. For the time being, a cheaper and faster alternative of thicker insulation to bear more weight is being installed but only delays the inevitable. It's the best they can do for the time being and what budget allows, but the process already has saved countless animal lives, especially the chillest of the bunch, the sloth. <laughs> opossum nest and car. When this car was taken in for maintenance, they got much more of a surprise than they were expecting. Instead of pulling off the protective guard to get underneath with ease, they were greeted with an opossum that left a crazed animal running around the shop. For this poor mechanic, that was the first car of the day, one heck of a way to get things started. The reaction tells it all. Typically shy and quiet, opossums commonly referred to as possums typically don't cause much harm to people or plants, unless they're otherwise provoked. They can, however, become a heck of a nuisance if they decide to raid your trash cans or take 
take residence in some dark corner in your home. When it comes to the winter, they want a place to stay too. So areas where they make their habitat can see the most often during the season. The little devils may want to enter your house searching for food or a nesting site. They're omnivores and they're insatiable eaters. Their diet typically includes fruits, nuts, grains, insects, slugs, snakes, mice, and other creatures of that nature. If they're in your house, however, they'll eat garbage, pet food, and bird seed, and human food that's left out for too long. To help encourage the beast to keep their distance, don't feed them by keeping your garbage, pet food, and bird seed in sealed containers. <laughs> Hidden Room Airbnb is great and all, but sometimes it can be like something straight out of a horror movie. Cameras in the home don't have anything on this creepy Airbnb discovery. While living in the house, this guest found a whole secret room behind a vent with plenty of access to peeping views to many areas of the house. If that doesn't make your skin crawl, what will when it comes to Airbnb? Many people have had a nightmare tale about the service, but this goes above and beyond. The guest went on to explain that he investigated the vent because he kept hearing strange noises from behind it. When he approached, he noticed that behind the panel, it opened into wide open room with appears to be computer equipment. What in the heck is going on? The social media user that dropped the footage explained that the people who own the Airbnb said they thought he was going to be a female and that they were surprised when he arrived on the property and found out he was male. Extremely creepy indeed. Everyone stay safe out there. Hmm. Go fetch! The amazing Finley, a six-year-old golden retriever, loves his tennis balls, so much so that over the years he's developed a special talent when it comes to carrying them around. By practicing ever since he was a pup and with no help from his human people, Finley can stuff up to six tennis balls in his mouth at one time. The sight is both hilarious and odd. The current Guinness World Record was five before Finley's record-shattering moment. His family says the joy he brings to them is one thing, but the joy he brings to people all around the world is stellar. What an incredible stunt, especially for a canine. He uses his paws in another intelligent manner that shows the species goes way beyond playing fetch and rolling over. Now they're using their paws to stuff tennis balls in their mouths and break world records. Ooh, oh, oh, oh. Moose wants to bounce. Moose are incredible creatures, sure, and though they're pretty docile around humans, you wouldn't want one accidentally falling on you, even out of love. When this moose decides it's time to bounce, any humans in the path better get the heck out of the way because it isn't stopping for anyone. They are truly huge. They stand as the largest members of the deer family, weighing in at around 1,200 pounds, and they can measure a whopping five to six and a half feet from hooves to shoulders. This, of course, does not include a raised head or antlers, so it's safe to say that the majority of moose tower over most humans, save that of the tallest humans in the world. With a huge beast comes a huge appetite, and the moose is no exception. It requires a massive 76 pounds of food every day just to stay a normal size. Like the deer mentioned before, the moose need to shed their antlers to make room for their larger ones. The bigger the size, the older the individual. <laughs> Whoops, too slow. It just goes to show with moments like this that when those drawbridge alarms are going off, you better get off before it's time to raise. They won't stop for any car, truck, or human. That's why there are warnings to begin with, and in many places, the person is always held responsible for issues on the bridges. This is no different. The guy opens his car door and tries to signal the bridge operator to stop, but there is no stopping at this point, and the boat crashing is a much bigger issue than a car refusing to leave when the sirens are blaring in his ears. He eventually gets out of the car and gathers his things, frustrated with the turn of events. For whatever reason, this guy refused to move. If you ever felt tempted to see what would happen if you were to test a drawbridge operator, will abide by his work instruction. Here's your answer. A large ship crashing and causing damage not only to the vessel but the bridge as well, you can't argue that it was the right decision to make. Copter pack. Could this be the transportation of the future? Forget cars, forget bikes, forget boats. We're talking personal aerial backpacks you can slip on and off as easy as one. Composed of two rotors, the copter pack is a genius device worn as a backpack and appears somewhat like a drone. The Australian company responsible, of the same name, are looking much differently from other models in the past. As with any drone or air travel tech, there are hazardous elements in the design. The most prominent of said issues falls in line with the rotors. While protectively coiled along the edge, 
bridges are open up on the top and the bottom. Although this does not pose much of a threat while the pilot is using the copter pack correctly, it could become dangerous in the event of an accident or other unforeseen circumstance, or if the person has to land and starts his engines up in an unsafe area. Since there are no laws limiting such flight or scenarios, the company has to think of all these things preemptively. Since those blades are spinning at such high speeds, you can believe they could easily lop off a limb or two if you aren't careful. It's for this reason they've yet to release the product to consumer markets thus far. Bowling ball record. Wow, did you know it was possible to stack bowling balls on top of one another? Who would have known that round things can be stacked on round things, so long as the perfect balance can be achieved? The amazing Shen Yoshi of China recently set the Guinness World Record for most bowling balls stacked vertically. Putting that theory to the test and crushing it, he managed to magically stack 10 balls on top of each other before the tower eventually collapses on the 11th. The guy has clearly taken the bowling ball to a whole new plane of imagination. He says it takes an incredible amount of patience and poise to accomplish, but if you have hours upon hours to spend just to stack one ball, then this is the hobby for you. Some stacks can take him all day. Think you can do it? Just try to stack one. It took him over two hours to complete the record-setting stunt, but he did it with astounding patience. It was recorded on a Chinese TV show and shown to the world while it was being accomplished. The modern world is truly an awesome place. With most people just able to reach into their pockets and pull out a high-quality camera, everyone is capable of filming the next viral footage or finding the next big discovery. The allure is part of its downfall in that people want to record anything and everything. After all, some of the best footage was all by accident and in the middle of a filming for a completely different reason. If you enjoyed the video, smash that like button and don't forget to subscribe to get all our content delivered right to your inbox. Mm -hmm.